Hi, how you doing? It's so pretty. Look at that boat out there. What's up? I know I might get sound so cheeky, right? I'm so blessed. I gotta tell you, it's been rough. Um, especially in the beginning. I mean, like I said, 2019 was rough for me. So when I first went on the road, I had unemployment. I gotta be honest, I had that for a minute, so that was nice, that was sweet. That was making sure I had gas and maintenance and all that stuff. Food. So then it got, it got lean, right? Once they cut all that shit off, and it's like, okay, you know. Now, like I said, I don't do masks, and I wasn't just, yeah. Being around people, yeah. and I have to protect my energy. So there's all these different variations. But what I was thinking about, was what it feels like to live in your vehicle, to be sleeping in your vehicle, and not have a place to park like a campground or a KOA, or, and you gotta have, this, there's that constant, and I can sense it with a lot of people, and I can see it. A lot of people that are like me, I'm just, at this point, I'm just like, I give a shit, right? Knock on my door, I'll move. But there's a lot of people that are already paranoid, they got issues, and they're wasting gas just driving around. Like, and that one kid, like I was talking about, he was in Medford. And all he did was constantly driving from parking lot to parking lot and sleep for three hours. And then he'll get either wake it, woken up until to leave or whatever. So it's kind of one of those things. So you're never truly getting any sleep. And that's a, it's a rough thing to, I mean, like, you're talking sleeping with your clothes on, sleeping with your boots on because you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to be caught in your underwear sleeping while some state trooper's knocking at your window, right? So it's so there's this intensity of there's an intensity about it. There's there's so much uncertainty and you're not wanted anywhere. That's always a a blessing. I mean, there's people that care, but there's a lot of people that just don't want people in their uh, their communities. I call them the low incomes. They don't want them. They don't want the low incomes. Mm grubby grubby people like whatever you know human beings but okay like I said if I was rich I'd be feeding them I'd be finding ways I wouldn't be you know telling people that you need to get rid of them I don't want to see that when I open my window and to the veranda and I sip my tea in the morning and read my Wall Street Journal and watch the peasants shitting in the woods it's quite disturbing actually you know, I could just imagine, all right? But I just feel bad there's a lot of people going through it. A lot of people not getting enough sleep. I mean, I'm, I'm with it, I'm the same thing, but I, you know, at some point I just like, fuck it, you know, wake me up, right, I'm sleeping. And that's how it was. At first I was really tense, it was hard for me to relax. And then finally I just got to the point where I, it was really bad. There's a video I did and when I was right, right before I went to San Francisco, I was gonna go to San Francisco. And I was at the Hawk, it was, we call it a Hawk Point, Hawk View on the on the north side of the bridge. There's all those vistas and stuff, and I was reading all these things saying, okay, yeah, you know, you you can park, a, you know, overnight or whatever, and nobody's gonna harass you. Of course, I get to the top, some cop lights up the whole parking lot, and tells everybody to fuck off, and I'm like super stoned. I mean, I just got really, really high just so I can go to sleep, and. I'm super fucking tired. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just wanted to sleep. And excuse me. And this guy was blowing his thing telling everybody he got to fuck off, right? And so I crawled down the hill a little bit more. <coughs> because like I said, I didn't want to be driving. And I was pissed. So I was like, I shouldn't be driving and I don't want to, you know. So I parked down at the lower part of the bridge and I just kind of laid there for a while. <coughs> and there was another parking lot. And that guy never came back. I guess he went down. The other side was kicking everybody out. Because like, cars kept coming down and they're all pissed. You can hear him yelling and fucking telling the guy was a fucking asshole. I guess this guy was pissing everybody off. So like, so that made me super uncomfortable. I was tired. And then I rolled into San Francisco early Sunday. And it was like the best time in the world to go. If you're ever going to roll into San Francisco, Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, it's sweet. And no traffic, no people. There's still people, but not crazy. I literally got went to the wharf, realized I didn't want to be there. It was fucking, I was tired. I needed to be away from people. I was just fucking pissed. 
So I hauled ass and got out of there and just headed south and went from there. <coughs> Excuse me. That's just an example of being run around by cops and stuff. And people are going through it. And I'm feeling Robin Hoodish right now because I'm really not digging the rich. And I'm sympathizing the hell out with the poor, right? Because I'm seeing it. People sleeping on the corners, man. Even in Newport. You know what I mean? This blonde girl that I saw last year in Newport. Obviously issues with her. She came up to me once and was like, look at one of my paintings. My boyfriend painted that on my stomach. And I'm like, oh. Okay, she's just like, you know what I mean? It's like one of those, and they're all there. Poor thing. God bless her. And then, of course, I saw her little wallet to the, earlier, you know, with a little puppy just in the corner, her blankets and shit. I'm like, down by the wharf. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Anyway, I thought that was going to So sympathize with people that are living in their vehicles. It sucks. It's got. It's, it's really hard. It is. It's, there, you know, there's not a lot of peace. There's no place. Not a lot of places you can go and park and feel safe, especially if you're a woman. Oh, that's worse. And I've seen women get very skittish just being around other people. Just, you know what I mean? Because it's like, fuck, they're a woman, right? So, there's no safe zones. There should be safe zones because there's not only women, but there's children. It's a whole separate issue. Anyways, I just thought I'd bring that up. Hopefully, this will come out because it's getting kind of dark. But anyways, um, yeah. People are going through it, man. It's real. So pray for them and pray for yourselves. And remember to love yourself, because I do. I love you. And God loves you and the universe is crazy about you. And I'm going to let you go. And have a wonderful night. And just think about those people that are living in their vehicles and freezing their butts off. 